CEO Ronald Hickler from Creating the Difference. I want to talk to you about using the dual angle layout system to lay out a bowling ball. So what we're going to do is we actually got a bowling ball we're going to lay out for Dustin. Here we've got his axis point. His axis point is five and a half inches over by zero up. And we're going to lay this bowling ball out with a 60 by four and three quarter by 30 degree layout. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we've got a ball here. Now, here's what's something to take note of. It doesn't matter whether the pin out is, what is this, four inches? It doesn't matter whether it's a four inch pin out, a two inch pin out, a one inch pin out, or a five inch pin out. Where we put this CG on a symmetrical bowling ball does not matter anymore because we can't put a weight hole in it to actually impact the performance. So don't worry about the pin out distance when you get a bowling ball. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the pin through the CG and we're gonna make a mark six and three quarter inches. Now, while we're doing that, it's just kind of uh, a convention that allows us to, if this ball had a mass bias, which it does not, but if it did, it would be right here. So the first move we gotta do is we have to get our 60 degree angle. So in order for us to do that, we're actually going to put this zero mark indicator in the center of the pen, and we're gonna make sure that we're straight. We are definitely want to be uh, parallel with that line. We're gonna look for 60 degrees, and we're gonna make a mark right there and that is going to be 60 degrees. Now, we'll swing over and we will draw a line right through that mark, like so. And on this line, we will now be able to find our pin to PAP distance, which in this case is four and three quarters, which is actually right here. That's the four and three quarter mark, okay? Now, from that spot, we're actually going to put our zero mark here. We're going to make sure we're perpendicular. We're going to look in the back here. We're going to look for 30 degrees. So 30 degrees happens to be right here. Okay. And now we're going to connect this line with this line. So we're going to make sure that we connect those two lines like so. That is the vertical axis line. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go on the vertical axis line, we would go up or down depending on the axis point and then a straight across. Dustin's is zero. So we're actually going to line this up parallel right there like so. We're gonna make sure that we are nice and parallel. So now we're nice and parallel. Okay, and then we're gonna make a mark and go across to five and a half inches, which is the reverse coordinate of his axis point, which will put the center of the grip right there. Once again, we'll line back up to be able to go perpendicular. And in doing that, we'll be able to, well, we're not perpendicular. Now we're perpendicular, there we go. And we'll draw the line like this. And his finger holes will be up here and his thumb hole will be down here. And that is Dustin's layout that we're going to be able to use for this bowling ball. Like I said, it doesn't matter whether that CG is four inches or two inches or one inch or whether we swung that CG over here or over there because on a symmetric ball, you can't put a weight hole in it to get it legal because it already is going to be legal. And this distance, the pin to PEP is what's really dictating the performance. As always, if you have more questions or need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Create the Difference. Have a great day.